the Ariane Road. This beautiful 1979 Morgan 382 sailboat, though I originally bought her with only seven days sailing experience, now I have 6,000 nautical miles under the keel. I've sailed across the Balearic Sea, the Tyrian Sea, the Ionian Sea, up through and back down the Adriatic Sea, across the Aegean making landfall on the continent of Asia, up through the Sea of Marmara into Istanbul, through the Bosphorus Strait, 120 miles through the Black Sea to Bulgaria, back down through the Aegean to and through the Corinth Canal and the Bay of Corinth, crossing again the Ionian, this time to Malta, and finally through the Mediterranean Sea to Africa, which is where we currently reside, in Tunisia. Quarantine for an unspecified amount of time. The borders are closed. No movement, in or out. This pandemic has confined us to this marina, Cap Monastir. Over the course of this amazing adventure, there have been many ups and downs. Oh, it's been a real crash course in life and adulthood. I've had the pleasure of having a variety of crew on board, one of which was the brother Troy of Earth Story, who will be posting some videos of his time on board sailing from Athens to Bulgaria. The first year of this voyage was particularly stressful as I was learning how to be skipper, which is considerably more than just setting sails, while feeding a business and two YouTube series, traveling and managing a volatile relationship, each one being a full-time occupation in and of itself. It was a deluge. It took me about a year and a quarter to get a grip of the whole skipper thing. I was overwhelmed, which is why I had to take a break from making sailing videos. I just couldn't manage it. But in a sense, the only way you can find the limits of your capacity is to flood yourself and then start bailing before you sink. After almost two years, I have a pragmatic understanding of seamanship as well as of Florb. And so now we're ramping up a new channel. So be sure to click the link and subscribe to the new channel. That way we can get it pumping in the YouTube algorithm. Scavenger Jack and I are in Tunisia and we're finishing up repairs on Ariane And now with this whole pandemic, we're not sure when we will be leaving because all the borders are closed. At the moment, we can't even travel within Tunisia. As the whole world is in a change, Arianrod has gone through some changes as well. While we were in Lenosa, we ran aground, and Lenosa is a splendid little island. It's a mile and a half in diameter, but it is all volcanic, and so it's about the worst topography that you can run aground on. It was able to keep Arianrod from getting completely wrecked, but we did damage the keel and the skeg, and so that fiberglass Half of it has been repaired. The rest will be repaired in the next couple days. And then during our sail from Lenosa to Tunisia, our forestay broke. The forestay that the Genoa is attached to sheared at the top of the mast. And luckily, because we have two forestays, the mast was protected. All the wood and the rails have been sanded and repaired. The starboard side had been damaged since the infamous nightmare haul out of Pula. And then the port side, I managed to break in Corinth, also our amateur varnish job, lasted exactly one year before it started peeling because it turns out you need to thin the first couple layers of varnish. That's news to me. We just slopped it on. I don't even remember if it was marine varnish or not. I think it was just regular varnish that we then covered with a marine sealant. We got a new Bimini made. And then we also had a custom rain cover made for in between the Dodger and the Bimney, which is absolutely slick. And then we moved the solar panel from on top of the Bimney to on top of the Davids. And then we also got dinghy chaps made. We also added these stainless steel shields to protect the rails. Four stays repaired, key fiberglass is being repaired. We're gonna be putting a new coat of paint on Ariane Rudd and new anti-fouling and um, repaired some spots of delamination in the deck, which is fantastic. And oh, inside we added carpet, which makes it way more homey in here. Um, other than that, inside it's pretty much the same. Probably in Malta, we'll put a coat of deck paint on it, if we can ever get to Malta. And then Ariane Rod will be looking nice. So we'll see what happens with this apocalypse. But right now the plan is to sail to Malta then sail to Greece, spend the summer in Greece, and then book it on over to the Canaries so that we can be in the Canaries by around November so that we can sail across the Atlantic this winter and then spend the spring in the Caribbean 
and then be back in America by the late spring of 2021, which will be just over three years since I've been to America. So that'll be interesting. That's the plan. Like I said, we'll see what happens. Big love. See you around.